All right, guys, so look and see. I came to my parents' house, and so it's 4.37. And my dad doesn't, this nigga didn't even start waking up until about five. So normally when I'm over here around this time, he's not even down here until about five. And I have a feeling that may be my grandmother, right? So this, let me give you a series of events of what occurred. I have to go back in here and drop my clothes off. I got one more bag. But what happened was I came here, right? And so you know how some people say, like, it's in your mind, or like how, or it's in your car, and like as far as that method of trying to like, as you see a car right now, look at the time, look at the woods. So just look at the, look at the, uh, you, if you, I don't know if you could see that, um, but, well, I couldn't see, but you probably could. The reflection of the lights, right? So what happened was I came here and like they had somebody like pass me, but like he was trying to wait, but could not wait me, of course. He left and there was no one around. So, but he didn't see which way I went. So I was able to pull up on my mom's parking lot and I don't think they maybe heard me, all right? I don't think they heard me or maybe they didn't know where I was at that moment because what I saw was the neighbors had their lights on. And so there was a car parked at the neighbor. So I, what I think is they thought that maybe I was gonna pass the neighbor's house and then the neighbors would pick me up, right? To see where I was, but that didn't happen. I came straight here. So they had like two, three cars like ride past and they, I guess they couldn't figure out where I was. But by that time, I think they had like maybe heard me trying to open up the door. And then so what I saw, what I saw, right, is I saw like uh, a car coming down. And when I saw that car coming down, I, um, I he honked, the car honked as they were coming down. So when the car honked, it was like trying to let people in the area know where I was, right? So I found that to be strange, right? Because I'm like, well, if they can read my mind or if they can see where I'm at through my head, then why do they need to honk to let them know I'm in the area? Because that's exactly what they did. So for me, I don't think it was a situation of honking or not. I think it was, and you see how he locked the door, right? He locked the door because he's he's afraid, and so he didn't want me to come back in there. So, And he also wants it to be like a time if a car passes so they can actually see me walking in the house. Like I, like, I know their motives. When you know why someone's afraid of you, you know and so why someone's um, intimidated by you, then you know their moves. You, you Then their moves are explained. Right? There's reason behind their moves. So, like, I know my family's scared because they're guilty. And so they move like they're scared and they're guilty. So, it's, it's really nothing else to... I don't have... It's not a rocket science. It's not rocket science to me. I don't have to dissect the situation to understand why my family's moving like they're moving. No, I caught them. I was aware of what the fuck is going on. And they move like they're guilty. So, if you saw... That was my dad. This nigga locked the door because he still thinks I'm going inside the house, right? So then, therefore, he turned the light on. The light is on, I guess, for people driving by to be like, well, it's also to see me, but it could be as a double entendre as far as being like, okay, he may be here still as well. So, you know, they like to use and signal and stuff like that, right? So, um, but yeah, like the car honked, and I'm like, well, why do they need to honk if they all have Bluetooth and walkie-talkies? If the telepathy is on point, then why did they so it's i think i i think we need to reconsider their methods on you know because you know i'm pretty sure you know they have algorithms you know they you know they can use algorithms to see what you look at on social media and stuff like that because what i'm hearing from other people is they may not be getting trolled in the instance that i am and it could just be based on your activity and usage of social media and whatnot but I did want to come on here and be like, you know, it was kind of funny how it was funny how uh, 
the car honked. And then, you know, when the car honked, um, you know, you, you notice how you I don't see the neighbor's light coming on anymore. So for me, I guess it was just kind of strange. It's kind of strange to me as far as like, you know, as far as their method of identifying you because You know what I mean? Like, if if they can see through your mind, then there's no reason to have, you know, the cars right now, the cars are supposed to be like a paranoia effect. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be like, we know we're doing this to you, but because a majority are doing it to you, you telling the majority. So that's why I tell people, like, you having these TI functions and these events and these parades don't mean a jack shit. And you really only... Uh, you know what I mean? I really look at those and, and kind of like consider those who are doing those as kind of being like pawns. Because if you really think about it, if you know the majority of the people you're around in your daily lives are a part of your harassment, and you're seeing the majority are not only in your town, right? They're not only in your town, but they're in your city, they're in your state, right? So ask yourself, wouldn't that be the majority? And if you have several people and we don't live in the same states and it's going on in our states and it's the majority of our state, wouldn't that be the majority? So if you have 12 people from 12 different states saying the same different things, right? Same different things going on and it's the majority of their state, right? Then what does that mean? That means that it's worldwide and it's the majority, <laughs> which means that you're not telling anything to anybody. The deception is gaslighting and the gas. I guess that's what I didn't understand. Now I understand now I'm talking to you guys. Gaslighting is really the instance of them telling you what are you talking about while they know what they're doing. That's what gaslighting is. Gaslighting is me talking to that guy in that red truck saying, hey, I know why you're here. Me saying, I know why you're here, right? And um, him saying, what? What are you talking about? I, what? Sully? Who's that? That's the instance. That's gaslighting. That's what they gaslight me with. They gaslight me with the instance of saying like, you know, we're not doing anything to you. And they know they are. So that's how they gaslight me. Some people say they gaslight you with, you know, and like I could be talking about pizza and I would see somebody eat pizza. Or I could be talking about a shoe and I see somebody with a shoe. You know what I mean? And so you notice how I, I hunked at my dad because they, they think that the whole thing is you're trying to be slick. When I'm trying to be slick, you won't know about it. <laughs> so I hunked the horn because I didn't, I don't give a fuck whether I'm obvious or not. I'm not. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not hiding. If I wanted to hide, I would never come out of my house. So I'm, I'm not hiding. My whole thing is I just don't want you guys to think that you're slick. So it's not about me being slick. It's about them thinking that they're slick. You understand? So that's kind of... That's my mind frame. I don't give a fuck about whether they think I'm slick. I'm not trying to be slick. I'm already slick. That's why you have multiple people coming around us. Because you, if, if I wasn't slick, then you, you could only take three or four or five people. But you need to wait and everybody up around me so yeah guys just you know that's one thing that i noticed you know what i mean it's one thing that i noticed um and uh you know um no man don't know it's just you know uh, you know, it's, I just, I feel like once, if we could all come together, right, and just kind of, not physically, but we could, you know, a conference call and come together and brainstorm as far as, like, our methods of how we see certain things and how they operate, because I'm, you know, my, another thing that came to mind is, like, okay, witchcraft is real, so if the witchcraft is real, right, if witchcraft is real, then that means what? And you got a lot of... Well, we know it's real, but we, and you got a lot of witches. Then what does that mean? You got a lot of witches. Witchcraft is real. That means that they have access possibly to be possessed and used and do the shit that, 
You know what I mean? So if you got, if you got, and if all these people practicing in the fraternities and sororities are witches, then that means that they may have access to the telepathy powers through the evils that other people possess. So you have to look at it that way. So you know, well, how, how do these people are able to, because if they're fucking demons and they're being possessed and they're just a, a fucking uh, empty vessel, well, then those those demons who uh, are supernatural are able to then give, you know, it's like a demon working through the body and the body is receptive to anything that that demon does through its body. So the demon is able to, you know, think and see something and it reacts and, and that person through its body by default is going to be able to inhibit those things. But the purpose or the intent isn't for that person, it's for the demon. You know what I'm saying so, but the byproduct, right? The person being a byproduct, right? By default, he's going to uh, be interceded with that information. So, you know, it's 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 multiple levels to this, and I think that everyone has different ways about going about on how to be around you. You know, so I just want to make this little snippet and talk to you later.